All right, Ben, can you help, please help me read that first sentence in example five? Charlotte invested $1,000 in a certificate of deposit to the CD is now worth $1,076. Perfect. So, Charlotte invested $1,000 in a CD, certificate of deposit, three years ago. It is now worth $1,276. Part A, Caitlin, help me read part A, please. Assuming the interest was compounded monthly, what is the interest rate? Perfect. So we're looking for the? The rate out of the four equations that you were introduced to yesterday. Can you please look back at the four equations and let me know which one we should use for this example? Yeah, how do you know it's interval? Yeah, the key term in here is compounded monthly. Okay, so what's the formula for that class? To the n times? T, beautiful. Do we know what n is for this example? 12, because this is monthly. Do we know what the rate is? No, that's what we're looking for. Do we know what t is? Three. T is how many years, and that's three years, it says. Do we know P? P was 1,000 that she started with. Do we know A? That's right. A is how much she got at the end of her investment. Do we have everything we need except R? Yeah, and that's what we're supposed to look for. Here we go. Let's plug it in. A is 1,276. P is 1,000 times 1 plus, the rate is unknown, divided by N is 12, all to the power of 12 times what? 3. Perfect. So, Nico, what's 12 times 3? Good. Okay, so that's really 1,000 times 1 plus R divided by 12 to the 36 power. What do you think we need to do next in order for us to solve for the rate? Divide by 1,000. Remember, we have to isolate that base. So, 1276 divided by 1,000. I want it in fractions, okay? So make sure once you're done, hit math, fraction, hit enter. And so Haley, whenever you're ready, give it to me as a fraction format. Divide both sides by 1,000. So 1276 divided by 1,000. 3, 19 over, I'm sorry, one more time. 250, thank you very much, equals to 1 plus R divided by 12 to the 36 power, okay? I'm writing all the steps out. What do you think we need to do next to get R all by itself? We need to solve R. What's your next move? Thank you. Who said that? Mark. Mark? Very good. Or Morgan, if you said it. Remember, 36, it's a power. The power, isn't a, the power isn't a variable, so we don't need to hit it with a log. We just have to undo the power 36. So to undo power 36, we just have to take the root of, of it. Okay. So do you know what the caret button is on your calculator? Now, root 36 index is the same thing as what exponent? We did this yesterday. 1 over... 36. Yesterday we did an eighth. Okay, so this is the part where you guys are going to have a problem if you don't use the correct parentheses, especially if your calculator doesn't have a power button. Make sure you need parentheses around the base and another set around the numerator. If your calculator doesn't have, it's not some newer do, some calculators don't. So do 319 divided by 250 quantity and then hit the caret if you don't have a, a, a power button on your calculator. Then do one, make sure again, parentheses around one divided by 36. Once you have an answer, can you show your partner your decimals on the calculator before we're called upon? Make sure quantities, you should have two sets of quantity. If your calculator doesn't have a power notation, okay? Show, your peop show the people that you sit around with your decimals. Is it right? Is it matching? 
Katrina, can you give me the decimals on that 319 divided by 250 to the power 1 divided by 36? Okay, 1.00. Sorry. 6, 7. 9, 3. 2, 5, 3. Very good. Remember, I don't want you guys to round until the very end, so that's why. Good job carrying it out. What do you think? Bless you. What do you think you do next, guys? Subtract the 1. Mm -hmm. So from here, I'm going to subtract the 1. So I have 0 0.00679325 equals to R divided by 12. What do you think the next move is? Multiply by 12. And remember, your calculator can do all of that. So take that, multiply by 12. Heidi, whenever you're ready, give me R of all decimals, okay? Are you sure? Oh my god, I added it. Wait, hold on. Point zero eight one seven nine three. Wait, wait, let me write it. Point zero eight one five. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, because it is looking for the rate we have to write as percentage. So what direction are we moving to write as a percentage? To the right twice, okay? So one and two. So your rate class of her CD is? 81.50. No, I'm sorry, not 81. 8.15. 8.15%. Okay. Box that up. That's how we find the rate. Can you help me read part B, please, Shelby? How much will Charlotte have in her account once the jury's exercises? Okay. What are we looking for now? The money at the end or the beginning? At the very end. We're looking for A, right, y'all? So A is, do we know what P is? Yeah, it is? 1,000. 1 plus, do we now know her rate? Yes. 0 0.08115. True or false? Mm-hmm, 0 0.0815 divided by 12, yep, it was compounded monthly. We already knew N was 12, but the year is now new. How many years now? Five. Five, okay. All right, 12 times 5 is what, Sophia? 12 plus 0.0815. Sophia, one more time, what is it? Beautiful. Now, in the quantity, I want you to use a calculator. Do the quantity first. Okay, hit enter and then hit, raise it to the 60th power. Once that's done raising the 60th power, then multiply that to a thousand. Remember, you still want to follow PEMDAS. Okay. Once you have an answer, I want you to compare your calculators with each other to make sure it is. Make sure you know how to use it. Mm -hmm. Because to go from decimal to percentage, you want it to the right twice. Mm -hmm. And then you want to go backward and move left twice to use it in the equation. Okay, so guys, make sure you're using your calculator. Make sure you're punching these in. Do you know how to use your calculator? Do you know how to use my calculator when you borrow one? Because on the test, I can't help you. You guys agree? If you have questions, ask now. The question is, how do you round this? Because it doesn't state how to round. Since you're right. Okay. Did you guys compare your calculator to see if you have the same amount of money at the end? How much will Charlotte have in five years? Morgan M. Fifteen cents. Do you guys agree? No. Okay. Someone give it to me. $1,500 like that? I think I got $800 in 
Oh, wait, never mind. No, no, sorry. Oh, what do you have? That's, that's what I have. Give it to me, the whole thing, because I didn't hear the lot. 1,500.9861. Point nine eight. so round to near a cent. So what, what would that be? Ninety-nine cents. Is that right? Someone confirm that for me. Okay. Is that okay? Um, guys, make sure you're mindful. Do we know how to use the calculator, the power notation, what to do first? Okay, that's really important because on an exam day, I can't help you how to use your own calculator or my own calculator. So make sure you're asking now. Okay. Example six, writer, help me read, please. Instead of the lawnmower's t, years after a particular model is introduced, is given by the function y equals 5,500 uh, ln to the quantity r t plus 4. I think that's 9 times t, huh? Uh, yes. Uh, no. <laughs> what did I say? r t? Oh, you said that. <laughs> Where y is the number of mowers sold. How many mowers will be sold two years after a model is introduced? Round your answer to the nearest number. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Uh, all right, T. What does T represent in this application? Alden? T is going to be years. Okay. What does Y, okay, Shaughnessy, Y represents what in this application? Good, number of mowers. Okay. Okay. What are we looking for? Right, how many mowers? I mean, we're solving for what variable? Y. Y. Do we have everything? Yeah. Yes. What's our T? Mm -hmm. Yep, your T is given to you as 2. So we just have to plug it in. Y equals 5,500 times the natural log over 9, not R, 9 times what? 2 plus 4. Okay. Remember, PEMDAS, you have to do what first? Multiply first before you add. So multiply, then add, then hit natural log of that answer. Now, some of you can use the calculator and put it all in, but when you pull in your calculator, make sure you tell the calculator to do multiplication first. Not all calculators will, will do that automatically, so if your calculator doesn't do that, make sure you tell it to do it, okay, by putting quantity around it. All right, use your calculator. Punch it in. This is really the process of, do you know how to locate the natural log button? Do you know where the parentheses buttons are? Once you have an answer, round it to whole number of lawnmowers. Compare your answer with each other. It says, yeah, it says a whole number. Follow math round rules. Guys, we're going to follow math round rules like you said yesterday. Okay. So if it's five or higher, just round up for me. Yeah, if it's five or higher, round up. All right, Ashley, whenever you're ready, hunt, give me to the nearest whole lawnmower. Seventeen thousand and what? And fifty, so like that. Someone confirm that for me? No. no. What is it? 17,001. 17, like that? Yeah. Okay. Lawn mowers. Or you can just write mowers. I'm fine with that. Ashley, do you do you know where you went wrong, huh? So I can help you? Okay. Example seven. Here we go. Can you help me the very first line? Jack. Perfect. All right, guys, think for a second. Out of the four equations, which one are we using for this example? Compounded interval. Okay, compounded interval. So the equation is, Aline, can you give me the original equation, please? <laughs> Is 
n times t, very good. Okay, so we have to identify what's what. Do we know what n is? What's n? n is 2, right, because it's twice a year. Do we know t? No. Do we know a? No. Do we know p? Yes. yes. What's p? 500. Very good. Do we know anything else? That's all the variables, right? Okay. R, so, R, R. oh yeah, we know r. Thank you very much. R. What's r? 5%. Five percent. But before I plug it in, I have to move it to the left twice. So what would that be? 0 0.05. 0 0.05. Okay. Part A. Can you help me read mark part A? Perfect. We have enough information to create that. So A of T equals, we know P, we are going to plug it in. P is 500 times 1 plus your rate. Do we put in 5 do, or do we put in 0 0.05? 0 0.05. And then your N is 2, okay? And to the power of how many T's? 2 T's, right? Then now we have to work out the quantity in the middle. All right, 1 plus 0 0.05 divided by 2. Do the 0 0.05 divided by 2 first, then add it to 1. Okay? So, do 0 0.05. Uh-huh. Yeah, but you have to work out in the middle, so make it pretty. Okay. Yeah, and then you leave it. So, 0 0.05 divided by 2 plus 1. And again, don't round because we are going to use this equation for something else later. So, it looks like Hannah, whenever you're ready, give it to me in all decimal places if you can. It's just in the middle. Yeah, so cap 1.1. 1.1? That's a nice number, right? 2 T. That's all you got? No, okay. 0 0.05 divided by 2 plus 1. 1.025. Um, Hannah, did you figure out what happened? Yeah. Okay, so we're good? Yeah. Okay. So that is your equation, okay? B, Kimmy, how many B, please? Perfect. What are we looking for? A. So here we go. Do we know T, by the way? What's T? 10. So A in 10 years. So A of 10 is 500 times 1.025 to the power of 2 times what? 20. So 2 times 10, right? Okay. All right, use your calculator. Make sure you do, based on PEMDAS, you want to do the power first, multiply to the t value once your exponent's already calculated. So 1.025 to the 20th power, whatever that is, has multiplied to 500. Compare your answers. The reason you want to compare your answer is, hey, do I know how to use my calculator? Okay, final, final answer, please. Ben, whenever you are ready, honey. What is the final answer? How much would we get? No, no, no. You don't divide because that's 500 times. So you want to do 1.025 and then carry it to the 20th power. Whatever you get is multiply. Mm -hmm. And multiply. 500. Okay, what's your final answer? $819 and how many cents? $819 and 30 cents, you said? 31. Someone confirm? Yes. Thank you. Let us see. Okay, help me read letter C, please. <laughs> what are we solving for? Yeah, we have A. So A is 1,000 equals, we have the original of 500. We already know 1.025 to the power of 2t. True or false? <coughs> this is kind of asking the same thing as how long will it take for the money to double? Would you guys agree with that statement? Yeah, because you start with 500, we're ending up with 1,000. That's doubling your money. All right, step number one. How do you solve this, Gabby? 
Perfect. So 1,000 divided by 500, y'all, is what? 2. You can write straight up 2, or you can write this step. That's really your personal choice. Okay, so now that's really 2 equals 1.025 to the power of 2t. Now what are you going to do? Hmm? Technically, yes, but that's an extra step. Log, because isn't the exponent a variable? So whenever that's the case, you want to hit it with a log. Natural log, or just regular piece of log? Regular log, because your base is an E, okay? Log base what? Log base? 1.025 of what? Of 2 equals to? 2t. What do you think you need to do next to solve a t? Not yet. How do you put in your calculator? The change of base, right? So the change of base says you punch what first? Log of 2 divided by log of 1.025 equals to 2t. Once you have a decimal, and it is going to be a long decimal. Then divide by 2. Okay, So whatever that is, divide by 2. And then round to two decimal places for time, please. 7 years old, evenly? 14? 14.029. 14 14.029. 15. Is that the final final or is that divide by two next? Now we're gonna divide by two. Is that what you're saying? Oh, you got twenty eight and then divide by two, and this that's what you have. And then we're gonna round it to about two decimal places. So fourteen point oh three years, months, days, hours. Oh, so this is even off right there. Yeah. Okay, so. 14.04. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Now, what's the unit of measurement for a time? Years. Okay. So it's going to take this person about 14 years to doubling her money. Okay. That's an egg roll. A couple of things that you need to be mindful of this week, guys.